up you guys, my name is Jacoby Jones. I am a DJ and producer, hoping to spread some good vibes and maybe some knowledge that I've learned over eight years of producing. So you wanna grow your artist brand in 2022? There's a lot of questions to ask, like what do you do? Where do you start? And what strategies can you use? But most importantly, what even is an artist brand? These are what we're gonna be going over right here in this video. If you happen to like what I give today and it helps you out a little bit, consider hitting the subscribe button so I can continue to deliver for you. If you don't like what I'm doing, let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong and I'll do my best to improve soon. So really quick, I just gotta go grab some breakfast and then we'll talk about how you can grow your artist brand in 2022. So I got my breakfast, I got my coffee, I'm good to go. So before you can actually start an artist brand, you need to make sure you have the foundations in place. And one of the main ones is actually knowing what your artist brand is. So I ask you, do you know what your artist brand is? Because truth be told, I don't think a lot of artists do and it's something that I struggled with a lot in the beginning. Most people think that they can just market their music through some good content, but that doesn't actually work because people don't listen to the music they're told to listen to. They listen to the music that they believe in and the ones that are by the people that they believe in. Maybe good music can get people to listen, but it won't make them stick around or stay or believe in you as a person. That's the main problem with Spotify playlists. They'll hear the song and your stream count will go up, but they won't actually know who you are or what you stand for. To get them to believe in us, we need to have a brand that they believe in. And this creates fans, people that will listen to your music, buy your merch, support you as an artist in whatever way that you ask them to because they believe in your brand. And this is why having a brand is so important. So with that, let's make sure we actually know how to start a brand. So first off, what is it? A brand isn't your music and it's not your content. It's both and it's more. It's everything that you are, your identity, what you stand for, your values, everything. So with that, I have a question. What do you stand for and what do you believe in? What is your value system? And it can be something simple. It doesn't have to be very complex. It could just be being happy or it could be being angry or it could be something political. But whatever it is, you have to stand for something as an artist and that's what your brand is because you want people to attach themselves to you. You want them to look at you and say, oh, that guy has what I have. I believe in that too. And that's basically all a brand is. It doesn't even have to be a specific value. It can just be like, say you wanna combine music with soccer and you make everything about that or football. And then everyone looks at you and they're like, oh yeah, I love football and I love his music. I connect with that. An example of a brand with an artist that could be someone you recognize is Elenium. Elenium's brand is basically the whole idea of the phoenix, right? The phoenix is something that dies, goes down in ashes, and then rises from the ashes, reborn, and grew. And that's something that he conveys through his brand. People look at that and they say, yeah, that's me. I was broken and I fell apart but then I reborn in my ashes and then I grew up. And that's something that everyone's able to connect to and say, yeah, me too. If you look at my Instagram, go look at it right now. My main thing is that I wanna bring summer vibes, especially that of California where I live, to everyone in the world who can't experience that and just are down in the blues and are sad. So I wanna bring the happiness and freedom of summer to everyone. And I wanna make it summer all year long. It even says that in my bio. So. That's essentially examples of a brand that you can get an idea of what you could do for yourself as an artist because it doesn't have to be very complex, just something that you stand for or believe in that other people can attach themselves to because that's what's gonna create that connection that they wanna follow you more and believe in you as an artist. All right, I need to head home and later we're gonna discuss how you can actually start your own brand. Guys, um, look at this view that I get to live at every single day. This is where I live. Honestly, it's insane. But either way, now that we've gone over the official definition of what a brand is, we need to think about how we can apply this to you. How can you take this knowledge and implement it in your own marketing strategy? So, I ask you, who are you? This is the easiest way to go about it. Taking who you are, your values, your beliefs, and building it into your brand. Because the last thing you want is for your brand to be inauthentic. This is a mistake that I made personally a lot. And it really hurt me because I kept trying to push an image that wasn't myself. So 
some questions that you could ask yourself are looking at your experiences. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Why do you admire the artists you like? And one resource that I've provided for you guys, and I'm going to include it in the description, it's going to be a free download, is a PDF with questions that can help you better understand who you are and what you're trying to do with your music. That way you can create a brand for yourself that's actually authentic and something that represents you and something that people can attach themselves to. It also includes a list of examples of potential brand ideas that aren't too oversaturated that you can try messing around with and see if it's something that appeals to you and other people. So feel free to use this and help you understand how to create a brand of your own. Now once you use that worksheet and have something that you believe can represent you as an artist and other people can attach themselves to you, this becomes everything. The content you produce, the songs you release, everything you say on social media revolves around this brand. It's not meant to limit you, but you have to understand that regardless of if you have a brand officially or not, any action you take on social media is going to affect your image and how people see you. So it's important to make sure that any action you do that affects people's image of you moves towards the image that you are and you want people to see. This is why it's so important to have your brand fundamentals down. You can't just be a guy who makes music because in the end, nobody's gonna know why they're following you. It's rare that musicians break just because their music is that good. It's a one in a million shot that someone just breaks because they're lucky. So in the end, having those brand pillars is going to make people understand why you're not just another musician in their list of hundreds of musicians that are just like you. Helps you stand out, helps them grow attached to you, connect with you, and wanna follow you you for more. The brand is now you. And that's basically it for this week's video guys. Now you know what a brand is and how to start one for your own. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because in our next video I'm going to be talking about how you can utilize that brand and target the people who would want to follow that brand and make sure that you're getting followers that will actually believe in you and not just random people. Also follow my Instagram if you want to get a more personal look into my life as a producer and connect with a family of people looking to experience great vibes with great music. My name's Jacoby Jones and I'll see you soon.